Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kindle video. My name is Legend Ronnie and today I have a sneak peek for you about reforging. In the Rise of Kingdom official Facebook page from France, they have released the patch notes about reforging. So we're definitely going to go through the patch notes and see what they will have to offer. And I'm also going to explain a couple of things regarding these patch notes because there's a, there is a lot in it. And this reforging system might just be really cool for most of the players. Starting with the beginning, we've received many useful returns from governors. Again, this is a translation from um, uh, French to English. Might have been better to do it from, uh, from France to Romanian and then from Romanian to English. Might have been a better interpretation, but still we get a very big idea what this update is going to be about. We have added a new equipment refining system. Governors who fail to forge an object with special talent can now refine instead. Equipment start now with a refining level of zero, which can be upped to a hundred to give special talent. So for example, if you forge an item, it didn't went with a special talent, you have a zero refinement, right? And then you can refine the item and then you can refine it again, basically from uh, what I have seen on the picture over here below. If I'm going to scroll, I'm just going to show you. It shows that it went to 50. Now, I'm not sure that is because of the critical, because it shows on the picture crit times two. So most likely you can refine like four times. And if you're lucky to go with a crit, then you might have to refine less. This is what I'm kind of understanding right now regarding this refining system. And once you reach the threshold of 100, you get the special talent on your item. Now, if that is going to be the situation, when exactly it's going to be released, then we're definitely going to see the difference. Refining can also trigger criticism. This ideally retaining the same positive elements as the previous forging system like triggering critical hit and it still retain the same positive elements basically the same stats as the previous forging equipment forging adjustments the forging will continue to produce special talent from time to time but the likelihood of doing so will no longer increase with the number of times you try to forge a given piece of equipment instead this chance will be fixed at the initial probability, the one originally given before these changes. Now, to make you understand what they are referring by that, I'm going to go quickly into the forge. And for example, on a chess piece, if you click on the information button and you scroll all the way down, you're noticing that the first forge, 11%, 22, 33, 44, and 100%, which means that we will have 11% chances every time you do a forge to get a critical hit or a special talent um, as we all know i used to call it a critical hit before but basically is the special talent and that is going to be the same every time you're going to forge this item so you can forge let's say this chess piece that i'm looking at right now you can forge it 10 times you will still have 11 percent chance every single time so you can be very unlucky or you can be very lucky but with the refining system that we have on the next update, you'll be able to refine the same item instead of keep forging the same item. And at some point, you'll get the special talent on him. In addition, governors will be happy to see that any equipment they tried to forge special talent will now inherit a certain amount of refining. So what I'm getting from this is that when this refining system will be implemented, some of our items that didn't win with special talents, or probably most of them that didn't win with special talent, will have a certain amount of refining. Now, this kind of tells me, and you can probably agree, like how that part is going to work. So I'm going to go back to the forge and just show you one of my items. So, for example, my helmet. As you notice, I have two pieces of the helmet that I forged and none of them went with special talent, which means that this might just be equal to an extra refinement, which might just put on one of them or on both of them a 25% refinement. Because if we look back on this picture that they are providing, if I scroll all the way down and go back, 
it's a hundred refinement and he got 50 probably because of the critical like i was mentioning before so meaning that let's say you fought four items and none of them went with the special talents i'm talking about the same item like i don't know a pair of gloves the same pair of gloves or a helmet or a chest piece or a weapon the same weapon and it didn't went with the special one of those weapons or all of them might just have a lot of refinement progress already on them maybe close to like 70 uh, refinement progress so the next time you're going to refine one of those items will go to 100 and you'll get the special talent this is why i'm trying to guess that some of the items or most of the items will have some refinement progress on them when this update is going to go live this does not apply to equipment at the initial forging stage so it's even mentioned that the first forging of that item this does not apply so my theory is the same of what i just said if you destroy these items you'll still be able to trigger the legacy effect next time you start forging them now i'm not 100 percent sure what they are saying by that if you destroy this item if you dismantle them you'll still be able to trigger the legacy effect next time you start forging them I'm not sure what is the translation here regarding the legacy. Is that regarding the refinement or you can still trigger the critical hit or the game still has in its own memory of your account that you dismantle, I don't know, three shires return and when you forge the next one, it already put like a lot of refinement progress on it. Probably something like that. The cost of the new optimized forging and refining system will be overall the same as the previous system it does not impose any extra cost now this is a concern that i want to raise because the cost of the new optimized forging so the forging will be optimized according to this statement and refining system will overall be the same so it's not saying that is going to be the same will overall be the same as the previous system now if i go and scroll down to this picture there is a couple of things we have to notice. First of all, it's 5 million gold to refine a legendary, at least a chest piece, a legendary chest piece. Uh, the other things we can get from this is that we have bones in there and we have crystals, which they removed them long time ago. Another thing we can notice is the amount of bones and the amount of crystals that you need because from what I've seen on that picture, I've tried to zoom it a little bit, that's a 2 so basically it's 20 bones, 20 crystals, and I'm guessing that is 20 ebony or might just be even more ebony. Because if we go back to the forge, there is something you can notice on any chest piece. The ebony is 40, then it's 10 and 10. So I'm not entirely sure how much is going to cost the new refining system, but at least it's 20 and 20. And let me just go quickly to some item that cost bones so for example this one cost bones and i don't have any legendary bones but i believe that uh, the legendary bones that's exactly how they look as the picture they just look like bones in the end <laughs> right so that is that meaning that they might just introduce back the crystals that they took away and there was another sort of materials that they took away a long time ago they might just add them back for the purpose of refining now let's go back to the update and let's see what more they're saying over here new rules limiting the accessibility of certain equipment so what they're saying on the third point is that you can no longer use the season of conquest equipment in kvk 1 2 and 3 which was providing a lot of bonuses to players who are keep migrating and do kvk 2 and 3 and that's a really nice idea because the Ring of Doom, Horde of Fury and some of the very powerful items are very powerful in KVK 1, 2 and 3, empowering those uh, Season 1 and 2 commanders a lot. Equipment Boxes Adjustment. Governors opening equipment chest in the tavern now have a chance to receive capital plans of all levels of quality instead of plan fragments. And we've also added more resource items and accelerations into the pot. The cost of gems for purchasing key to equipment chest remains unchanged. Now, this is an amazing change, which it means that with every single key that you open, you have a chance to get a full legendary blueprint or a full epic blueprint. 
Now, that is really amazing because we didn't have that in the past. The blue and the green quality were the highest max blueprints that you could have get from the keys. The other thing that I'm not happy about it is that they added resource items and speed ups. That's what they're referring when they're saying acceleration. It's the speed ups. Well, the reason I'm not happy about that because the more things they introduce in that loot table, the less thing you will get or the lowest chance you have of getting a full legendary blueprint. So I'm guessing that it's probably one in a couple of thousand chances that you will get a full legendary blueprint. Who knows about that? But hey, that is a really good thing, meaning that those keys will finally have a bit more meaning. Uh, you will also get speed ups and you'll also get resources, but nobody was opening those keys for, re for resources or speed ups. It's just something extra, but I'm really happy that you have a chance to get full blueprints now. It's definitely going to help a lot of free to play and low spenders. Now, other modifications or optimizations. If we kept the interval at which the blacksmith produces materials, we have greatly increased the amount of materials given at every opportunity. Is this meaning that they are increasing the, the speed you are getting the materials from the blacksmith or the speed that the blacksmith is producing materials? I'm believing that this is what they're trying to say. Again, this is from France to English. We've added the advanced plan fragment chest and chest to choose normal plan fragments to the VIP shop to meet the different needs of governors. So what I'm understanding from this is that they added fragment choice chests to the VIP shop. So, for example, if you're missing two fragments for a pair of boots or I'm guessing there's going to be boots as well. But if you're missing just a couple of fragments so you can make a blueprint, you can now buy them from the VIP shop. Probably there's going to be a limit of, I don't know, six, seven. So you no longer just keep gambling on those events and try to get the fragment that you need. If you're really just missing a couple of fragments like I'm missing right now, missing two fragments. For a pair of boots that i really want to forge you will be able to just get it from the vip shop this is what i'm understanding from that and i hope that that's going to be really great now you have much better chances of getting materials from the mysterious merchant at the message post well not really sure you can get a lot of materials from the mysterious merchant you just get the gray ones and the green ones so it's not like super high quality but if they're gonna add blue epic and possible legendary in the mysterious merchant that would be really great and amazing a lot more ways to get materials if you have the gems we made some adjustment to awards in equipment and materials in twilight canyon golden kingdom evasion of the <laughs> legion of the shadow <laughs> ballads of iron and seroli crisis i mean you all know that is all those events that we repeatedly we are keep doing them which they already mentioned in this post now made some adjustments that's that's iffy because right now those events are really good on acquiring equipment and keys and materials well maybe a little bit less equipment but it was really good for materials those events are really amazing and I hope they didn't just, uh, by adjustment, they don't mean that they lowered the amount of materials we get. Because I'll be very honest, that will be pretty bad. I hope they either increase or the chest have a higher probability so you can get more blueprints. Or maybe you can get full blueprints or more fragments or something like that. Or maybe those chests will drop materials themselves. That will be really great. So this is all good changes. Um, that I see over here. The only thing I'm unhappy about the refinement system is that it looks kind of expensive. If it's going to cost bones, I'm not sure that anyone would ever bother or complain about spending bones for refining. That would be, you know, pretty cool. But let's see how exactly it's going to be because, like I said, this picture, in this picture, or at least with this picture, it's kind of looking a little bit expensive. And that's why he got the refining progress plus 50 because he got a critical hit. Now, we will see exactly how all this is going to be when it's going to be released live. This is your boy Legeroni signing off. I hope, hope you found a lot of information in this video about the refining system. Until next time, signing off.
Peace out, yo, and take care. See you on the next one, and stay safe out there. We'll